a fun weekend. This weekend, my brother, me, and my husband are going down to Arkansas to hang out with my mom and my stepdad who are in town. And my older brother, Jordan, is actually coming to meet us as well. He's been traveling and him and his girlfriend will meet us down there and then come up to Missouri for a little bit after as well. So I'm really excited for a little reunion moment of my brothers and my mom. Basically, my mom and my stepdad own a business that's based out of like Missouri slash Tulsa, Oklahoma. And then his family is from Arkansas. So when they go into Tulsa, they either come hang out with us here or we'll all go down to Arkansas and hang out. That's what we're doing this weekend. But that's not till tomorrow. We still have stuff to do today. Starting with doing some reading. I actually finished Crown of Midnight last night at 2 a.m. But I'm gonna read a chapter of Classic Christianity because me and one of my friends from Texas are going to do like a weekly read a chapter, talk about it type of thing, pray for each other over Discord. So let me finish my chapter. As soon as I start doing anything, call from log. Hello. What's going on? Oh, not much. What's going on? Oh, it's working. You know me. Logan called me just to ask me to get a car wash <laughs> when your car is that dirty. He was like, so we're taking your car tomorrow. Could you maybe get a car wash? I could come pick up your car and get a car wash for you. So it sounds like I will be going to get a car wash after this. I also went to the DMV this morning and I've been putting it off for literally months. Finally made it over there and was missing one thing and I got it. I had to get something emailed to me and they emailed it to me like right after I left. So I think I should just go back today and get it done. But anyway, okay, I need to read a little bit and and then do my call. chatting that was really great we chatted for like over an hour much needed i feel like rejuvenated i love those kind of friends but i literally only have an hour till the dmv closes and i just need to go get it done and go get my car washed <laughs> So unbelievably hot in there I was like dying I don't know how people work in there but I did get my plates obviously not gonna show you them but got my registration Missouri plates everything that I needed it was super easy once I had that paper I needed I only waited about 45 minutes so not too bad but now traffic is at you know it's five so we've got traffic but gotta go get a car wash a plus to my waiting is I did start powerless because I haven't bought my new uh, book for my series on my kids yet so I was like oh, I'll just start powerless because we're doing our book club at the end of the month I got one chapter in and I'm kind of I want to say like I'm hooked but it's it's interesting I'm not like I mean it's the beginning of a fantasy book so I'm like okay what's going on but at the same time I'm not like wow this seems like it's gonna be really boring but that's just eight pages in so we'll see home from all my errands finally i also put away laundry so it's just a big day of not procrastinating which is fantastic car looks amazing because of the car wash and i put the plates on right away the new missouri plates so we're good to go as it is friday and it's one of those fridays where i'm not going out or doing anything i'm following my ritual of going to get sonic ordering wing stop for later tonight and reading and probably facetiming my best friend so let's go get sonic Okay, are we gonna talk about the book? Yeah, I'm literally prepared, like, notes. Oh, okay, let well, me go get my Kindle. I actually did highlight some stuff, so. Once I got towards the end, though, I was just way too into it, so it's only highlights from the beginning. That's okay. Log's house and we're ready to go to Arkansas which we're gonna go hang out today as I talked about with everyone it's only like a two-hour drive so we are planning on leaving at 8 and getting there by like 10 so we can hang out all day but um it's 10 and we're just now at Log's to pick him up so it happens we'll go with the flow we'll be there at noon ready for Arkansas let's go let's, let's do go it. let's go let's go really put the subs back in oh yeah let's talk. All right, we made a quick gas station 
stop. Yeah. Now we are ready to go. So I really? got an Alani shake. I've never tried them before. It's like a little protein shake, Oreo flavor. Taste test real quick. Tastes like drinking Oreos. It's a little strong on wow. the Oreo. Holy cow. <laughs> How many grams of sugar? Six, only six grams of sugar. It's mostly wow. protein, 20 grams of protein. It's also like perfect weather out. What temperature do you think it is? Oh, um, sunny and 75? Probably. 68. Oh. I guess it's a, a little chilly. It's gotta be warmer than that. I don't know, it says 60. It's gonna get to 70, 73. Spoilers. We're all here. Sibling reunition. Re, reun, what's the word? Yeah. Reunited and it feels so uh, good. Reunation. Reunation. Reunited. I would say reunited and it feels hair. so good. Can't read it, which one? Uh, well, do you know who it's by? No. Peaches and Herb, Herb? Could be. My mom said, I got you, here's a song for that. <laughs> Jordan, house tour? This is my house. <laughs> this is, um... Van life, but in a truck? Yep, it's a modular space. Nice, love that for you. It's got a refrigerator in there. It's, really? Uh, you want to see a Wait, cool what? piece of technology? Yes. Coolest piece of tech I bought. What in a is long it? Time. Is that the fridge? You can plug it into the car, or you can pull it out and plug it into the wall. Oh. I, I can control it with my phone, 37 degrees. Or if I wanted to, I could throw a whole case of water in there, and they say you can freeze it in an hour. Whoa. I need to put my your, Celsius in there. My Celsius was battery. lukewarm. So I guess technically it'd be a freezer. Then. He brought in like turkey bacon this morning. And oh, see this thing? clutch. Yeah. Nice. Four slices of bacon. <laughs> Three slices of bacon. Where's Torio? Instant motion sickness. <laughs> Jordan made too much coffee, so I drank half a Celsius. Now I'm drinking a coffee. It might be sweet. It's fine. Sweet? Yeah, I put some of that um, Mexican chili in there. I can't taste that. Really? It's good. I'm gonna take a sip. I mean, it tastes good, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's sweet. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's quality coffee. It tastes I don't good, know yeah. where you got it from. I think it's that sick or something, because I cannot smell anything. Wow. Wait, what is you it? Know what? It's like. Is that real? Cool? On the like, back No, it's simple syrup. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, hold on. <laughs> All right, obviously, we're here in Arkansas. We're hanging out in this warehouse, and we just set up kind of like indoor pickleball, but we have the garage open. It's really nice out, and we brought our paddles. And we're gonna get some pickleball. Dramatic. What is that thing called? Leaf blowing. Thank you. Pickleball. Why did you not hit it? Okay. I was like, that was a really good hit and I saw where you were. I was like, oh, okay. Oh. Really, babe? Oh, I was going to say it was hard. There you go, babe. Yours? Easy. Four, one, two. Are you taking a picture Why of the sandal? Oh, sorry, mom. Are you Keep trying to vlog me. Yeah. Chips. We're playing. You can hit the ball anyway, except normally. You almost hit your girlfriend in the head. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To the brewery. Where are we going? To the brewery. To the brewery. Sitting on the toilet. <laughs> Did I bully you too much? Mom said she's riding back with Sam. What? Jump in that Mustang convertible. Why would I do that? In what world would I just jump in some random guy's car? He looks nice, actually. <laughs> he probably would be fine with it. We are walking to the brewery. We're not running. We're not running. We're not skipping. We're not jogging. We are. We're not walking. jaywalking. No. Uh, Jordan J walks everywhere because his name starts with a J. Oh! <laughs> I have a right to walk. Parkour. Oh! Got him. Any parkours? Mom, any parkour? Oh, thanks, Mom. What a gentleman. We all got our drinks. 
We're on a slant and our drinks are like, Cheers. we're just all sideways. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Store shopping. Okay, Canadian girl. vibe. Fig you know Newtons. <laughs> It's literally the most American thing you can get, Abram. No, it's not. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Fire. Fire. We've got eggs with mushrooms, oh, yeah. uh, sausage with, uh, or gravy with sausage, biscuits. Good morning, except it's like noon. It is so nice out today. It's like 68, a little bit windy, but sunny, so it's like that perfect temperature. I'm just sitting out here reading my book. Last night was super fun. There wasn't like a ton to vlog, but it was just kind of hanging out, reunited with the family, which is always so much fun. Stayed up super late, talking, playing games, the, the usual stuff. This morning, we're all gonna head back up to our house. Jordan and Tori are gonna be in Missouri for the next like month or so, and then my mom is headed back to South Carolina. So anyway, I'm waiting on everyone to be ready. I think we're gonna go to a coffee shop. So I'm just gonna sit outside and do some reading. We are gonna go get some coffee now. Um, I don't know where we're going. I guess we're all just following. Wow, I love these sunglasses. I should wear these more. Oh, great, my camera's about to die. It is such good weather. What yeah. are the vibes? I would love to jump in some body of water, to be honest. <laughs> Feeling like a lake day? I don't think it's quite, like the water would be freezing. Yeah, probably at home it's a little cooler. Um, either way, the water would be freezing. Should we go lay out on our deck today? It's those exact vibes of like, let's grab a coffee, walk around downtown. It's walkable community vibes, you know what I'm saying? Downtown Rogers, so cute. I think they should move, they're on tracks. Urgh! But they don't. That's such cute, like, architecture, architecture design. See vlog can move it. Oh! Nope. That, that was the worst high five ever. Okay, we do. There we go. Push on my foot. Wait, let me. Said, go, drive, drive, drive. No way. I don't know how y'all are doing that. I'm literally just a girl. Coffee time. Oh, it's so cute in here. Oh my that gosh. Is not wow. What I would have thought. I love this. I, I love the wood. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Oh. Uh, you and Tori might swing by. That's really good. And welcome home. Camera is all charged up now. Do the sheets in the wash. Sunday reset vibes. And on today's episode of Sunday Reset, I've decided that I wanted to paint this wall. I've low key been wanting to do it for a while. Don't know why I'm doing it now. So this is either a really great idea or a really bad idea. I started with prep work, moved the beds, and let's keep prepping. This is not that much space to paint, but I feel like I can make it work. You know, now that I've thought about this for more than 10 seconds, I don't want to do this anymore, but we're already here. I've never trusted myself less in my entire life. I went and got like some sample paints for my garage of this color and the trim color because I saw a hack where you like put the painter's tape and then you paint over the painter's tape with the original color and then it helps it not bleed through. So I am going to try that but I'm scared because I'm very messy all the time. <sighs>
little bit of a break and ate some leftover wing stop and it definitely is going to need a second coat i hope it just needs two coats and i did not realize how hard it was going to be to get like the ceiling and the side and i am on my second gallon of paint but only because i'm using like leftover paint from when we painted our whole house so, like each of them only have like this much paint in each can so hopefully i can just wrap up with the rest of this can so i don't have to go back downstairs and get another but Let's try to throw on a second coat and hopefully it goes well. I thought I ran out of paint, but I found one more can of the matte paint in the garage. So that's really good. Um, it's not completely dry yet, but you can tell it's like 80% dry and looking pretty good. It's kind of weird. It'll look better during natural light, but the light wherever it hits is obviously making it look a little weird. I'm going to go ahead and take off the tape, which I'm terrified to do. So let's see how I did with this. I know there are some spots like on that wall that I'm definitely just going to have to touch up because I completely painted the wall. And the trim, I didn't even put tape on because it wouldn't stay. So I'll touch up the trim later. But let's just see how I did in general. I'm so scared. Oh, okay. Wow, that worked really well. Okay, the one spot you literally can't see. Oh my gosh. Why did that work so well? Okay, sweater, all coming off at once. It's a pretty good line for being like really bad at this kind of thing. It's not the best, but doing the whole taping over the paint worked really well. Because normally when I try to do this, it like bleeds super heavy. Alright, let's check that wall. Clearly you can see where I just literally painted the wall and exited it. Ah! Other than like the parts I literally messed up, that's a pretty clean line. Like it's not perfect, but I'd say it's pretty good. Everything is done. And before I show you the wall, a few things to say. When I switch to that second brand of paint, either you can tell or the first brand is just taking longer to dry, which I think is the case because it looks a little bit better now. Or you can just completely tell that things are different. But I think this one just needs to dry more. Anyway, then I opened my windows and we have like a house fan. So I just turned that on and it took all the fumes out of here. So we'll be able to sleep in here tonight. And then I hung up a little bit of decor. It's not like final product, but like didn't want to have to buy anything. Balling on a budget, just using what I have around the house to like decorate a little bit. So I am obsessed. It brought so much more of a vibe into this room. Makes it feel more cozy. Can't wait to read in here. So let me show you. Remember before? Here's the after. Let me turn off the overhead light. Actually, I don't know if that makes it worse or better. Oh, you can definitely tell it's a lot more vibey. Ah, I love it. Wow, I genuinely feel like I can come in here and relax now because it's not all white. Okay, I think I'm learning that I hate white walls. I didn't think I would like the black accent, but I feel like it just works so well because there's so much black everywhere. It kind of ties everything in. I'm glad I went with black. I was debating doing green. Yay! I don't know why it's struggling so much to focus. I know this lighting's awful, but oh my gosh. This is such a vibe. I'm so happy. I can't believe I just was like, you know what? It's a Sunday afternoon. I have nothing else to do. Also, I just got back from a road trip. Uh, yeah, let's just paint my wall. But I really do love it. Good morning. This, ugh. It turned out looking so, like, streaky. Well, I got all ready for the day. And I've just been working on stuff for, like, my business. And then also working on some YouTube stuff. So, not much is going on today. Probably gonna go to the gym. So I feel like we should just leave on that high note of me attempting to paint that wall. And it looks good, but it's kind of a flop. It looks streaky, but I like it better than the white wall. I don't know how I messed up the paint so bad. And I'm way too lazy to move everything again to do maybe a third coat or get a new roller. I think my roller, like thing attachment that you put on the roller was really old because it was like peeling onto the wall. Maybe that's why it was so bad, I don't know. But we're just gonna leave it and we're just gonna be fine with it because that's um, that's how I live my life, thank you. Thank you guys for watching my little weekend vlog and I will see you in the next one, bye.